Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with bacon wrapped chicken dogs. That's right, I tried to turn a chicken breast into a chicken hot dog, or at least something shaped so it would fit on a hot dog bun. And what follows is that very, very successful experiment. In fact, everything went really well and exceeded my expectations, except for what should have been the easiest part, which involved serving this with a little bit of barbecue sauce. But besides that, this was a smashing success. And to get started, we're going to begin by mixing up a little bit of secret sauce, which includes a little bit of mayonnaise, some Dijon mustard, some freshly ground black pepper, and believe it or not, a few shakes of cayenne. And that's it. We'll go ahead and stir that together, at which point we can set that aside or pop it in the fridge until we need it. And no, that's not going on the bun. That is actually going to go on our chicken dog once we've cut up our breast, which, by the way, is the next step. And what I have here is one of the biggest, most obscenely large, boneless, skinless chicken breast I've ever seen. I mean, look at that. Somewhere Russ Meyer is blushing. And my plan was to split this right down the middle lengthwise, and then use the two pieces after wrapping with bacon to make one chicken dog. But it was fairly obvious this chicken breast was going to be way too big. So I decided to make two portions instead. And yes, it would have been easier to just wrap those in bacon and call it a day. But the problem is we have one fat end and one skinny pointy end. So what I figured was, if I cut these lengthwise again, I can place the two pieces together with the thicker end of one piece matching the thinner end of another. I would have something with a beautifully uniform girth that not only would cook more evenly, but would also fit way better on a hot dog bun. And by the way, if I wasn't using freakishly large chicken breasts, I would have just cut it once down the middle and done the same thing with the two pieces. So keep that in mind in case you're dealing with smaller breasts. And that's it. Once I had my chicken breasts cut into four strips, which again are going to make two chicken dogs, I went ahead and seasoned those up with a little bit of kosher salt. All right, not too much. Since as you know, the bacon we're going to use to wrap around these generally has a fair amount of salt in it. And then once I had those lightly seasoned, I went ahead and coated those with our secret sauce. And if I was doing a bunch of these, I would probably do this in a bowl or a plate. But since this was an experiment, I just went ahead and did it on the board. Oh, and in case you're wondering, besides flavoring the chicken a little bit, this mayo mixture is also going to moisturize the chicken. And I thought it would help keep it tender and juicy, which it definitely did. And then once I had that chicken sufficiently slathered, I went ahead and grabbed two pieces of fairly thin, center-cut bacon with which to wrap each dog up. Once I figured out which piece was supposed to go with which piece, okay, I totally lost track, and after being coated in that mayo mixture, I wasn't sure which one was which. But anyway, eventually I settled down a couple pieces, and I situated those to give me the most consistent and uniform thickness, at which point I started wrapping with the bacon. And a lot of times I'll perfect a recipe and then film it, but other times like this time, I will just have the camera running while I figure things out. For example, I started wrapping by putting the bacon between the two pieces of chicken, since I thought that might help hold it in place, but that is actually not a good idea. Because if you trap the bacon between those two pieces of meat, it's not really going to cook enough in the oven, and it's going to be kind of flabby. And nobody, and I mean nobody, wants flabby bacon. So as I continued on with the wrapping process, that end actually came loose, and I just made sure it was tucked underneath which is really the only key point I need you to remember regarding the baconing of the chicken dog. Okay, we want the beginning of the strip to be positioned directly underneath the chicken. And then when we finish wrapping one piece, which is going to be at the halfway point since we're using two pieces, we want the end of our bacon strip positioned directly underneath. That way, as this bakes, the weight of the chicken itself should hold our bacon in place nicely. Oh, and the other tip is, since we're not fastening this bacon with anything other than gravity, we want to make sure we don't wrap it too tight. Okay, since it will contract in the hot oven, and if it's too tightly wound, it can come apart. Just like a few chefs I've known. And then once that wrestling match was over, I went ahead and transferred these onto a foil line baking sheet, which I did spray lightly with some vegetable oil. And that's it, once I had those situated exactly how I wanted, I went ahead and transferred those into the center of a 500 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so, or until I thought everything was cooked through, at which point they looked like this. And what I was really hoping for is that my bacon would be fully rendered and nicely cooked through before the chicken inside dried out, which call it beginner's luck is exactly what happened. And I just went by feel here, but you could if you want use a thermometer and go to at least 145. And please note when you wrap bacon around meat like this, it's never gonna get crisp, but it does need to cook all the way through and not be flabby. 
So at this point, I was very happy with how that went. So I quickly served up on a severely mayonnaise hot dog bun, which as you can see is featuring some freshly sliced jalapeno rings, which I thought would pair perfectly with the bacon and the chicken, as well as the condiment I decided to finish these with, which was a nice drizzle of barbecue sauce. And that's when things got weird. Right, this started fine, although it really wasn't coming out quite as fast as I wanted, so I squeezed harder, at which point too much squirted out, which is never not annoying, especially when you have to take some contractually obligated pictures. So I decided to squeeze a little more on the other side, at which point it stopped coming out altogether. So I decided to stop and simply take a brush and spread it out so it would be a nice, even, smooth layer. Except after I finished, I did not like the look of my even, smooth layer. So I grabbed the bottle again, and of course, defying all logic, it came out perfectly, which doesn't make any sense, unless you understand the true nature of the universe, and then it makes a lot of sense. But anyway, I'm kind of sorry you had to watch that, but I thought it would be cathartic if I showed it. And as they say, all's well that ends well. And eventually I picked this up and bid in, and I could not have been more thrilled with what we created. It was, as the name promised, a bacon-wrapped chicken dog with our smoky bacon wrapping that juicy tender meat. And despite being an absolute nightmare to apply, that barbecue sauce ended up being the perfect condiment to pair with that mayo spread bun and those jalapeno rings. It really did all just work magnificently together. Although having said that, regular hot dog toppings like mustard, or dare I say ketchup, would also work here if that sounds better to you. I mean, you are after all the Joe Dirt of what you should squirt. And I know this is going to sound crazy, but I really do think this is my new favorite hot dog. Plus, I know exactly what's in this, which zero people eating actual hot dogs can say. Oh, you might think you know what's in it, but you don't, and you never will. And my hope is after this video goes viral, that like 10 years from now, this will be the most common hot dog found at the ballpark. If, of course, baseball is still a thing. But anyway, that's it. What we're calling bacon wrapped chicken dog. If you're looking for a deliciously different alternative to put on your next hot dog bun, I really do hope you give this a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.